everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my back to school preparations. So first up, I'm going to be organizing and preparing my school supplies. So I got this big white binder to put everything inside and so now I'm just going to decorate it. I personally like to decorate with stickers because it makes me feel like me and so if that's what you want to do with your school supplies, I highly recommend it. So this empty space right here is where I'll put my timetable which I can put inside because of the clear coating. So now I'm going to decorate my notebooks and so I bought three notebooks for this year and each one will have two subjects within it because I noticed I can hold about two subjects in one notebook so that's what I'm going to do. So starting off strong, this will be my math and physics notebook. Now this one will be my chemistry and biology notebook. And then this one will be for my study notes. And so as you can see, I have three notebooks in total. And I did not put social studies and English language arts in a notebook because I prefer to put that with papers in my binder. So for math and sciences, I like to use grid paper because there's often tables and data that involves grids and then for my study notebook I just have lined paper and whenever I need to use grid I just cut a piece out. Now I'm going to move on to the dividers for my binder. So like I mentioned before there are some papers that I do heavily rely on for my binder but really the dividers are there for me to be able to organize everything inside especially if I have paper tests or work books that I can't put in my notebook, but rather I'll just organize it in my binder. I don't know what to use this for yet, so I'll keep it in my binder until I need it. Now I'm going to put everything together. So what I like to do is I like to put my notebooks at the front and my study notebook stays in my desk. And then I have my dividers with papers in between after. So here's the finished binder. Time to organize my pencil case. So I'm going to start off with pencil case number one, which is my box pencil case. 
and for this one usually it's like quick essentials like my mechanical pencil and a few pens some lead erasers basically stuff i would use maybe for a test and some whiteout i keep this especially if i know i don't need highlighters or anything special for the class so now i'm going to move on to pencil case number two and just so you guys know I'm using the same pencil case as I did last year as they are still in great shape. So I'm first going to start off by adding keychains to my pencil case. Now I'm going to add my mild liner highlighters. These last quite a long time and I've only had to replace a couple and then I added my sharpener and now I'm going to add some of my pens, brush pens, etc. So in here I'm going to put in my colored pens and i'm also going to put in this sticky pad which is clear and transparent which is perfect if i have to trace any diagrams and in here i'm also going to put some washi tape if you guys do want a detailed tour of this pencil case i do have a video like that so here are my two completed pencil cases So one of the only stationary items that I did buy, but I'm not going to put in my pencil case, are these whiteboard markers. My previous whiteboard markers ran out of ink because of how much I used them, so I'm glad to see the ink is really smooth on these. So I'm going to move on to the backpack now, and so I'm going to start off by adding some cute keychains. Now, if you guys do want a detailed tour of this backpack as well, I have one on my channel already and it is very similar. I also crocheted this jellyfish, so if you guys would like a video on this, let me know. So now I'm going to add my emergency bags in the side pockets. So in this cinema roll bag, I have hygiene products. And then this red one here is like a mini first aid kit. Now here I'm going to add my pencil cases. This is where I'll also keep my bullet journal. This here is for some extra space. I'll put anything I need to put in there. This here is where I'm going to put in my binder. And behind that is a space for laptops if you didn't notice the little pocket there. But I often don't need to bring one. So along with all of those, I'm also going to have this mini pouch with some mini essentials. And if you guys would like to see how I crocheted this drawstring pouch, let me know. So first, I'm going to put in this handy mirror. And then I'm also going to put some lip essentials and some hand cream. And lastly, I'm going to put in some earbuds. Next, I'm going to set up my Notion. So I use Notion from time to time and it also helps me to track my things apart from my bullet journal. Next up is the September bullet journal spread. So for this, it is definitely an essential for me because it helps me to track events, tests, and other stuff and just keeps me organized for the school year.
next step, I'm going to be cleaning and preparing my study desk. And so definitely for me to be able to study effectively, I need to make sure I have a clean surface and place to study. This is also just a good practice to keep your study space clean before the school year starts. This is also making sure all my stationery is intact and ready for use. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope to see you around again soon. Bye!